everybody welcome back to Leosophy this is the third in the grassroots series and this is one that everybody can do and it's something you should take into consideration um, and this is it's kind of like almost an addendum episode to the self-improvement series that I had um, because what I think would be most important right now for people is to improve themselves and build little tiny tribal style communities um, not not unlike the and you know unfortunately that one didn't work out but you know I, I don't really know much about the behind the scenes but uh, Operation Werewolf was a really interesting attempt uh, at something and I think that being more tribal and learning skills that are good for a specific small group of people is really the best way forward so you know improve your body improve your mind do the things that I mentioned in self-improvement general but do it with the actual intention of starting a small community in the near future and as such learn a very specific skill that you think would be valuable for that community learn plumbing learn repair learn carpentry learn masonry learn um, dentistry or, or, or medicine you know keep those sorts of things in mind learn how to be a blacksmith that might come in handy I don't flip a no um, and, and of course, learning agriculture is, is a huge one. Um, and similarly, make little clubs or groups uh, that, that are sort of in that ballpark of a niche. You know, make a local gardening club, make a local firearm enthusiast club. You see how that works? Make little clubs, make a fitness club, you know, uh, something like that. Get together with people who are like-minded that you can sort of imagine yourself being part of, like imagine there's, it, there's nobody left on earth, that, that's not what I'm suggesting is ever going to happen by the way, this is not like a doomsday uh, video, but just imagine that you know there's nobody on earth except for you and 99 other people. What, what do you think you should bring to the table for those 99 people and what do you think they should bring to the table for you and then just start a group with that in mind, like if you were stuck with 99 other people and nobody else, what kind of people would you want to be stuck with? That I think is, is a really good sort of jumping off point for how to, how to start like a little community. And again, it starts very simple. It could even be a book club as far as that goes. It doesn't have to be anything specific, but it's better if it's the kind of thing that would draw those 99 that I was talking about. And also it doesn't doesn't have to be your goal of 99 by the way either. I'm just that that's that's a baseline question. It's kind of like the guidance counselor question like if you had a million dollars, what would you want to do? Well, the whole point of that question isn't because they want you to imagine being a millionaire. The point of that question is what do you like doing? What's something that you would derive fulfillment from doing every day, day in day out rather than something that you just think is going to pay off at some point. That's the purpose of that question. That's the purpose of my question. Like, if you had to have only 99 people in your life ever, nobody else exists outside of those 99 people, who would you want them to be and how would you want to be to them? And use that as a jumping off point when you make a community, when you attempt to get in touch with people. And of course, the closer they are proximally to you, the better. You know, you can, you can have a group that's largely online, but that's really not the point that I'm trying to to make here because it's it's a lot harder to actually truly bond and coordinate with people if you're just seeing them on on zoom or or even worse on some forum that's not really the the best way of dealing with things so go to places where like-minded people congregate again gyms gun stores etc and try and make a community from there and don't just go gung-ho at it nothing screams glow in the dark like hey I have certain views and I think you should be part of our club. <laughs> you know, uh, again, this is a slow process. This is a subtle thing. That's why it's called grassroots. You know, gr nothing grassroots happens overnight. That's sort of the point. These are small things that over time build up to become bigger things. So having sort of a community mindset with regard to certain people, again, preferably people that you can interact with at least once a week, uh, you know, worst case scenario, once a month, Something like that is a great way, uh, not, not just really for possible future issues, but it's also good for mental health because, again, 
there the powers that be are presenting an illusion to you that you are utterly isolated and so by forming these groups you're you're proving to yourself one that you're not and and it's not just proving to yourself cognitively i'm talking about chemically because a lot of people like i said one of the biggest problems with people in our particular uh, uh, spectrum of thought one of their big issues is th this idea of isolation you know it's that elephant paradox where you know they chain the elephant when it's a calf and then when it's grown it doesn't think you can break those chains the chains are largely an illusion and the cornerstone for that illusion is the additional illusion that you know your your views are just very fringe and not at all common and you should keep them to yourself and keep your head down and be a good little wagey and that's that's simply not the case so that's that's uh, my third grassroots suggestion like, share, subscribe, keep asking questions. Bye.